Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, it's very simple technology. It's called Emily, and it's a small remote control life-saving boat. It's got a small jet ski motor in the back. It's battery powered. The concept is very simple. Use a remote control device to drive the boat out to a swimmer in trouble, either in a lift current or in a flood situation. Somebody standing on top of their car or hanging onto a tree branch. Again, the first responder doesn't have to get in the water, so it helps the safety for the first responders and also gives them a new tool to help save lives. So I'm going to end with uh, one final pivot, and it's a societal pivot that I think will happen through as consumers learn more and more about what this little blue icon is and how corporations are sharing their sustainability efforts. And this will be that your food doesn't come from a box in the freezer, your, your light doesn't come from that switch on the wall, there will be a, a greater collective and understanding of this sustainable blue economy. Sustain. So there's so much creativity in science and engineering. For those messages to come through, we need creativity, verbal and visual communications. And so whenever we talk about ocean stem and blue stem, we really should be talking about blue steam, which I think has a better ring. Um, so the audience, so this might surprise you, but I think audience are corporations, and I'll give you a few examples. Imagine you go to Patagonia, you look at a t-shirt, and you look at a t-shirt is a new school. So you look at the t-shirt, there's a paper tag, and the tag says that this t-shirt uh, came on a ship from Asia uh, on a tanker fueled by liquid natural gas. You go to Walmart, uh, oh and I forgot to stress that on that tag is an icon, a blue icon, like our green recycle suit. And this blue icon appears at Target when they talk about uh, they won't be selling single-use plastics, for example straws, or they're going to reduce uh, their uh, single-use plastics in their packaging. You go to Red Lobster with your family, and you're going to have your algae-crusted salmon, and that icon is there on the menu telling you that this salmon came from uh, a farm 10 miles away from the coast in uh, these deep-sea open waters uh, cages or pens. Um, so corporations have a huge part to play in recruiting the consumer citizen. And then I'm going to ask you, how many of you know what a Certified B corporations by show of hands. So, not only will the satellite account provide a more complete picture, an estimate of green economic activity, but it'll be more accurately describing economic activity in the sector. And particularly important for this meeting, it's the first time that there will be an accurate accounting for blue technology in the United States. So, it's really exciting time to describe the activities that are um, for about 90 classes of businesses, so including A and B's. Are these navigational instruments as well as various ocean observational instruments? So previously, we had no idea what the measure of economic activity was for these sectors, and developing these accounts will help us to one describe it, but also to promote growth in the sector because we'll know the baseline of the activity. Um, so that's exciting for us. And one thing that we're also excited about with the satellite account is that it'll be a more accurate estimate of these different types of activities in the, in the marine environment. So for example, for fishing, particularly for aquaculture, we don't have a good estimate of that right now in the marine environment, um, as well as shipbuilding and coastal tourism. And so really, it's an exciting time for us to develop these accounts because we can really take the time 
to get this complete picture of the different technological advancements and the economic activity for both companies that are both large and small. And um, that's one of our main efforts today.